A brazen case of distracted driving caught on camera. A bus driver texting his way to and from the Hamptons. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And welcome back, I'm Maurice Dubois. There were 45 people on that bus to Southampton. And many of them worried for their safety. CBS 2's Jennifer Logan has the story, new at 5.30. One day after the fatal limousine crash in Kutchog that claimed the lives of four young Long Island women from Smithtown, Amanda, Michelle, and her friends were among 45 passengers who hired a bus from Comac's MNV limousine to take them safely to and from the Hamptons. This is what they recorded. Absolutely appalled. Um, I can speak for all the other people on the bus as well. We were shocked and we were very upset because we found out that day that four girls from our close family and friends had passed away from um, a limo accident just the day before that. So we were more than upset. So you contacted the limo company. You said right. at first they did nothing. They did nothing. No, they told me they were going to speak to the manager and they were going to get back to me, but they did not. It's been, it was a week. So she posted the startling video on social media and spoke to our newsroom during our follow up. Today, company president Mark Vigliani assured us action is being taken. As soon as I was made aware of it, I contacted the driver and he's been terminated immediately. We have zero tolerance for anything like that. We've been in business for 23 years. We have an excellent safety record. Amanda and other witnesses tell us a whole week went by until their complaints were taken seriously, something the limo company denies. The driver told his boss he only once briefly checked for messages. He was texting the whole way there on the way home, too. So when he told his boss he just quickly checked for a second. That's right. not what you saw. No. Nope. I have full footage of him texting for more than 20 seconds. The company drives passengers to wineries and warned its drivers of the North Fork tragedy. We scheduled a safety meeting right away after that. So we're very proactive here. It's amazing it sure. that your driver was texting after that. Why didn't passengers demand the driver put down his phone? I didn't know how the driver would react. Um, I just didn't want to make a confrontational scene about it. The limo company will not divulge the name of its now terminated driver except to say he's 45 years old and also drives a school bus. It's unclear if any further action will be taken against him. From Comac, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. The limo company plans to install cameras in its tour buses as a result of this texting video. The